Good afternoon and welcome to the latest issue of Playprint 21, the weekly video news bulletin for the Australia and New Zealand print industries. This issue is sponsored by Ball and Doggett, Australia's largest supplier of printable materials and of press room consumables, and now supplying wide format print equipment as well. Uh, PVCA is calling on the industry to fill out what it says is the most important survey it has ever created a survey about Australia Post to enable PVCA to provide data-driven input to the mailing giant's future plans by the government's 27 April submission deadline. Uh, the Employers Association has set up a mail industry coalition from, that comes from all interested parties in the print and mailing houses that will provide a united face to Australia Post uh, and in fact they're already meeting weekly with Australia Post with the very senior management there in the lead up to that deadline for submissions on its future. Mail Industry Coalition is now, is now sending out the survey to the industry to gain insight into Australia Post consultation, regulatory amendment, opportunities to reduce operational costs, industry size and more. The aim is to fill a metrics gap for the government to gain insights into the industry to ensure a best fit approach to developing modernisation solutions. Go to the story on print21.com.au and follow the link to click online for the survey. It'll just take 10 minutes. Exhibitions are back. And Visual Impact in Sydney takes place in a little over two weeks, 3rd to 5th of May, with Festival Global running at the end of May, and that's in Munich. Uh, major exhibitors including Epsom, HP, Roland DG and Style Eaton, they'll all be launching new equipment, showing new equipment at Visual Impact in Sydney. Again, go to print21.com.au for all the information you need. Follow the story, click the links. The world's largest package printing event, Label Expo, that's set to own in Brussels in just six months' time. First one since 2019, and this year's outing will be the biggest yet to run. Some 600 exhibitors have already signed up with more to come, uh, and they will take all the space in nine halls at the futuristic Brussels Expo Centre during 11 14 September. Always popular with ANZ Label Printing Fraternity, this year's Label Expo is the first to run, as I said, since 2019, and says the organiser will be a technological showcase of epic proportions. Tough news from Perth this week with Daytone Printing in voluntary liquidation. 25 years after the General Commercial Printer was founded, uh, based in Beckenham, the business owners, they put the business into voluntary liquidation uh, just this week. Daytone had been operating uh, on a COD basis with some of its suppliers for a while. It ran both offset and digital presses. Uh, and it supplied business stationery, commercial print, uh, and posters to a wide range of local, interstate, and in some case, international customers. Finally this week, congratulations to the Heidelberg LIA NSW 2023 Graduate of the Year Award winner, Jervis Tway uh, from Frontline, Frontline Print here in Chatswood, which operates in the building behind me. And to Frontline's business manager, uh, he won the Employers Award. Uh, Sway will now go forward to the, with the other state winners from this year and from last year to try and win the National Award, uh, which comes with an educational grants worth $15,000 in total. Good luck to them all. Uh, the winner will be named at Visual Impact uh, on the Thursday evening of the show. Tickets are available for that event, uh, for the uh, LIA Awards event, for all who want to support it. That's it for this week's issue of Playprint 21. Go to print21.com.au for all these stories in depth and more. Thanks to our sponsor, Ball and Doggett. Uh, this is Wayne Robinson, signing editor of Print 21, uh, signing off from Frontline Print.